Hey everybody, my name is Angie Morenga. You're watching Just Angie, and it's another Sunday. It's the Sunday sermon. I'm always excited about the Sunday sermon because it sets our tone for the week. And I'm here with George and uh, Bernard. I don't, I'm not just going to Bernard. George and Atonga, <laughs> and, um, <laughs> and they're here. We're talking about the Joshua blessings or the Joshua anointings. We've just gone through leadership, and George was just introducing dominion. Yes. Yeah, so thank you. Hey, just and your family. Mm -hmm. Always a pleasure and an honor to be here. Yes. You no. Know, yes, we talked about the anointing of, of leadership, which is the positioning and also mm -hmm. the strength, the courage, the boldness to fulfill that. Mm -hmm. Now, when you continue reading Joshua 1, it says, you know, God made a, a, a pronouncement to Joshua and he says, wherever you set your foot, yes. I will give you. Yes. Mm -hmm. And for me, that's a, an, a blessing and empowerment and anointing wow. for dominion. Yes. Amen. Because if you follow the story of the Israelites, when they were first crossing the, the, the Red Sea initially, mm -hmm. it was when Moses was leading them out of Egypt, which okay. was out of their bondage, mm -hmm. and it was survival mode, right? Yes. You know, they yes. were being pursued by the, the Egyptians, they were running away. Yes. Mm -hmm. And the reason they had to cross the Red Sea was for survival. If they did mm -hmm. not cross the Red Sea, mm -hmm. they were going to be finished. And yeah. they, they knew it in themselves, mm -hmm. and they were depending to God for survival. Yeah. Mm -hmm. And then they were in the wilderness for the 40 years. And now in this season of Joshua, God had said there was a shift. Mm -hmm. Now you're, you're cross, they're again crossing another body of water, mm -hmm. but it was not in escape anymore. Mm -hmm. was the, the grace had shifted. Mm -hmm. And now he was, and you know, even what happened is the way they crossed the Jordan, they had to first put their the foot in. Into the Jordan. Mm -hmm. And the it says what? Well, yeah, the Ark of the, the Covenant and the priest. The ark. It's only once they stepped in that there. Mm -hmm. The water, the water separated. separated. And you saw yeah. that when they had entered the prom promised land, the whole time mm -hmm. it was just to take the land. Mm -hmm. When you read the book of Joshua, and I encourage as many of you to read it, you see the battles. There was a time mm -hmm. they walked around the wall of Jericho. Yes. All the miracles, the signs, and the wonders mm -hmm. were for taking of the land of dominion. Before mm -hmm. the miracles, signs, and wonders we saw mm -hmm. was manna from heaven. It was mm -hmm. for survival, water coming out of the rock because yes. there was no water. They just needed mm -hmm to survive. They just yes. needed the grace for survival, mm -hmm. but it shifted. Yeah. Mm -hmm. So even in this season, wow. there's that shift. Just it's not place. about surviving. So even if you make it more practical, sometimes we've been just having that grace for, I just have enough money mm -hmm. just to make it through the mm -hmm. day. You know, I just have mm -hmm. just enough grace so that my boss doesn't fire me, just yeah. so I can hang on. Mm -hmm. The days of hanging on God, I said, it's, it's now it's taking more land. If it's Amen. maybe a promotion or yeah. starting Amen. a new business. Amen. There's grace of going forth mm. as opposed to just hanging on to the little that you have. So it's no more survival in this Amen. season. Yeah. It's a season of thriving. Amen. Yeah. Amen. Yeah. I think it's very important that you understand <coughs> that in this new year, um, as, as, as George was talking about, they, had, they were in the wilderness, then the wilderness was more of a survival. Now yes. they are moving into a season of taking forth. Yes. So I, I, I see a thinking and a shifting of mindset. Mm -hmm. And this year there must be a shifting of mindset. Mm -hmm. You have to move from a position of um, survival mode yeah. to a position of taking over. Yeah. A season of things are not working, they must work. They must work. They must work. Season of waiting for people and saying they should do, they should do, mm. has ended. Mm -hmm. You are now entering into a season that what can I do? Mm. How can I be able to take over the land? Because when mm. you see the Israelites, through the deserts, they never faced any army for 40 good years. Yes. It was God protecting them yes. at night, at day. But now you're entering into your promised land yep. where you have to take, take it, take it by yeah. force. It's, it's not, not empty. It's, it's not empty. empty. It's not empty. That position That's you're enemies. praying for God to give you. Someone is holding the position. Yes. That, that space, that business, or that industry you are in, you're not mm -hmm. the first one in the industry. Mm -hmm. There are people in the industry. The differentiating factor is God. Wow. Hallelujah. That is the only an differentiating and an anointing. Empowerment. Exactly. An empowerment. Because when God said, told Joshua, I'll be with you. you. And that is the differentiating factor. Because the Ammonites in the in the, the land that they were in, mm, the those people are experienced. Yes. Experienced are big, and, strong. Yeah, big and strong, strong people. They've been doing this all their life. But you're coming in with your non-experience, but your differentiating factor was the anointing Hallelujah. of God. I love and it. when you move it this year, just yes. know your differentiating factor mm -hmm. for getting into your promised land, for getting into that new business, that new industry, for, for doing that ministry, 
your differentiating factor exactly. is I'm anointed. God. And that's, that's amazing yes. because one of the things that we've been talking about is Isaiah 61 verse 1 yes, tonight. Yes. That there's an emphasis of mm -hmm. that, you know, yes. because we are in, we're talking about a calendar year, yes. but we're actually in the year, in the season of 5779, yes. which runs from September to yes. August. Yes. Yeah? So August this year. Yes. So we've got to remember that, that God has been speaking a lot about Isaiah 61 yes. verse 1 tonight. So you've mm -hmm. got to study Isaiah 61 verse yes. 1 tonight. You have to break it down. You have to pray it. Mm -hmm. You have to believe it and you have to decree it into being. Yes. But as you were saying that, as well because of Joshua. Mm -hmm. You know, a strategy had changed. I think it's Prophet Charles Minor who once yes. Yes. mentioned that, that the strategy changed. changed. Yes. That where the Red Sea, they were running away mm -hmm. from the enemy, but mm -hmm. this one, they are crossing toward, toward the enemy. The enemy yes. You are now addressing your Goliath, the bar on one, yes. Uja, to yes. <laughs> and the other thing is going to finish you, you know? Yes. So that's, that was different. Mm -hmm. But the other strategy I'm always amazed in Joshua mm -hmm. is when, they were, is this time, mm -hmm. and we have to be very careful, this you see in for the Red Sea, mm. everyone was just following Moses. Yes. This time, this is your input mm -hmm. because Joshua sent the leaders mm -hmm. to the camp to tell people, mm -hmm. get okay. ready. Mm -hmm. He said actually three days before. It's mm -hmm. true. Be ready. Be on the watch. When you see God moving, mm -hmm. move. Now me, I'm always for. They must be a guy <laughs> who was left there <laughs> with his tent because guys left. Uh -huh. what will you? What will you? What will you? It's so sad. Because what does that make me know now? We have to be on the watch. Yes. True. And then even in that house, it's mm -hmm. amazing that you said the first anointing is leadership. Mm -hmm. In that home or household, yes. we have to put a structure in place. It's mm -hmm. true. That people have to be watching. Amen. Because we don't know at what time the ark, so mm -hmm. that we're not left behind, we're not left dead. Mm -hmm. We don't know what time the ark, at ark is going to move. Mm -hmm. But it's going to move. Mm -hmm. So somebody in that community, mm -hmm or in that family, mm -hmm. or in that generation, mm -hmm. or in that organization, mm -hmm. has to be watching Yes. for when is God moving mm -hmm. so that we move. move. And it's amazing because I love the fact that we have prophetic intercession and mm -hmm. we have the watches yes. at, at, at the different um, watches to pray mm -hmm. because that's what we have to do. Mm -hmm. We have to be also, if you don't know any other way to be alert is you have to watch and pray. Mm -hmm. You have to be alert in this season because empowerment is coming, mm -hmm. but we have to be alert yes. because it's when you have to be ready mm -hmm. because it was not given a specific time mm -hmm. that, the, that, the, that they would be on the move. But it was told now there's an onus on you. Mm -hmm. In the first one, in the first strategy, you were just following. Mm -hmm. In this strategy, you have to know mm -hmm. when is God moving, how is God moving, mm -hmm. discern the times and mm -hmm. the seasons. Amen. Because that person had to, they, they had to know, there was nobody going around mm -hmm. prefecting people. Hey, you guys get up, let's go. Mm -hmm. No. Mm -hmm. If you miss that moment, that's it. Only you wake up and guys have gone. Mm -hmm. And you're there now. It's not right. So mm -hmm. this is also a season where, as we're being empowered mm -hmm. with a leadership uh, anointing, mm -hmm. we're being empowered with a, uh, with dominion. a dominion, mm -hmm. but we have to be very spiritually alert to how God is saying. And remember, we talked about fear. Yes. There can be no fear. Can't. You have to know that you're hearing God. Yes. You have to have clarity of vision, clarity of mind, mm -hmm. and you have to know we're going this, this way. way. And you have to be alert and awake. Where is God moving? Mm -hmm. How is he moving? Mm -hmm. You see, it's like that. Sometimes when I think about, is it Ichabod, they say the glory departed. Mm -hmm. You've got to know in your situations or whatever is around you, mm -hmm. where has the glory departed? Okay. Or another one, where has the time for something or an opportunity run out? True. The time it's over. Yes. You even the grace period, even that one you've taken even the grace period, it's mm -hmm. over. Mm -hmm. And then you have to be alert to shift and to move mm -hmm. as God is asking you to shift and to move. So I think that's very powerful yeah. in terms of Joshua and in terms of dominion. Mm -hmm. But I think you also needed to mention about that that dominion also was about um reading the word, but you wanted to say something else. No, just connected to the fear and what you're saying is mm -hmm. when they were in the wilderness or when they're escaping Egypt. Mm -hmm. God was doing a lot of the signs yes, for them, right? Mm -hmm. You know, there was this, the plagues, there was the manna, the mm -hmm. water, mm -hmm. and they were watching and they were shouting glory to God. Mm -hmm. But in this season, mm -hmm. God was working through them. Through them. Mm -hmm. And that's the key Hallelujah. thing is, mm -hmm. it's not a season to watch God working. No, <laughs> and no. For, and this is why, you know, we spoke about fear in a session of two before. Yeah. You cannot have fear because you can't be watching God. Do it. You can't be in the background. God it wants to put with, you at the front. At the mm -hmm. front. Because... The land that you're gonna take, the giants on the land, they're bigger mm -hmm. than you. Mm -hmm. yes, There's an appearance than of mm -hmm. them being bigger, mm -hmm. stronger, faster, more mm -hmm. intelligent. Mm -hmm. So from a human logical perspective, you're like, mm -hmm. I have no 
case mm -hmm. to come against these people. Mm -hmm. But Joshua and Caleb says, if God is with us, yes. and at the beginning of Joshua 1, he says, I shall never leave you nor no forsake, forsake you. you. Mm -hmm. And I've given you this dominion. It's mm -hmm. a season of faith. Yes. Yeah. You must walk with faith. Mm -hmm. But, and this is for these anointings, but, you know, one thing that Joshua was told over and over again, he mm -hmm. says, meditate on my word. Mm -hmm. Day and I do not let this word leave you. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. The way I see this is the blessing or the anointing or the empowerment is the ability, right? Mm -hmm. The empowerment to do something, mm -hmm. right? But that's all it is. It's again what we spoke. There's, mm -hmm. It's like God opened an open door and says, there, there is your victory. There is, you can just walk to it, mm -hmm. but you still have to walk through it. Mm -hmm. And the problem is we see the open door, mm -hmm. but we go left, we go right, mm -hmm. or sometimes it gets so dark. Mm -hmm. And what God has been saying and what she was telling Joshua, the word, is what will order your steps mm -hmm. into that open door. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. The word. It's the word because mm -hmm. the empowerment, the blessings, the anointing was fantastic. Mm -hmm. But when he says meditate on my word, because when you meditate on his word day and night, you will know what to mm -hmm. do. Yes. Mm -hmm. A lot of us, we love God so much. We're trying mm -hmm. to do it, but we just don't know. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. It's like, is God speaking? Is it the devil's? Because you, you don't even know his voice so clearly. But mm -hmm. when you meditate on the word, because Joshua, at any time, he knew what to do next. He was always in conversation with God mm -hmm. through the word. And when I was reading this, it was Psalms 119, 105. Mm -hmm. And it's written by David, but it's the section for nine. And it says, the word is a lamp unto my feet and a, word, and a light unto, unto my, my path. path. Mm -hmm. The word will order your steps because mm -hmm. you have to walk into that empowerment. You have to walk through that open door, mm -hmm. but you cannot... It's, the way I see it is the word is like breadcrumbs. You know, in those mm. cartoons when you're small. Yes, was it Hensel and Gretel? Yeah, the breadcrumbs, the breadcrumbs would lead you. you follow yeah. them, yeah. Because someone would, without the word, mm -hmm. you see where you're trying to go, but you're like, how will I get there? Mm -hmm. What will lead you into your promised land to mm -hmm. take it's in your promise? Not just yeah. to lead you there, but to take the promised land. Mm -hmm. It's the word, it's the word of God. It will empower you. And before Atonga speaks, yeah. I was thinking, yeah. there's something I was thinking, now I've forgotten what it is, the word, the word. But um, I think you better go at Tonga. I think I've got what I wanted to say. Okay, uh, I'm, 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 I'm just encouraged by what George is saying. Mm. Because what, what I've learned with many, uh, many, many of us is um, the word is like a manual. Mm. You, you buy this um, gadget, it is in pieces, mm. and you have to bring it, it together, together. Mm. for it to be able to actually meet the need that you want it to meet. Yes. But you don't open the manual, yes. you start fixing. Yes. You start fixing and fixing and yes, nothing true. is, is getting together. To, something, nothing is coming together because you're mm. just guessing. Mm. You have the picture because God has shown you this is the door. Picture. You have it. Yeah. You have it. Yeah. But how to bring this thing together needs the manual because yes. the manual tell you take part A, put it together with part B, and take one the smaller screw and put it on the back side. Yes. Yes. Okay. So you have ten different types of screws, but you're using the small one where the big one should be, yeah. and you you'll always get it wrong. Always get it wrong because the manual gives you the perspective. Mm. for you to be able to create this thing the perfect way it was supposed to be created mm. for it to work perfectly so the word of god mm. that's why you meditate upon it day and, and night. night and be careful to and do what be careful says. to do what he said so then shall you be prosperous mm -hmm. so and that is you have to do this part a for, for part b, b to take, take place, place. Yes. Mm. but we want part b Without, without fulfilling part A. Part a. Yes. And that is, that is the, the, the worst place you can be. And my encouragement to you is, check the manual, mm. read the manual, study the manual, understand the manual, and walk the way the manual has said. Don't add anything to it. Mm. Just read it and and it's something that people forget because yes. you see it's actually true in that meditating is where it says that nothing shall be able to stand you because exactly. i will be with you as a yes. mm -hmm. it is in reading the word in meditating on the word that makes it happen and yes. the two things i think i want to close with is that's why i love um, isaiah 119 mm -hmm. it says if you're obedient and willing you will eat the fruit of the land so let's put it in an equation yes because what we want is fruitfulness the yes. fruit we want yes but we don't want to be obedient and you don't want to be willing. Yes. But God has presented a formula. Mm -hmm. You want to be fruitful. Mm -hmm. Be obedient mm -hmm. and be willing. Mm -hmm. True. Obedient plus willingness mm -hmm. will produce Fruit. fruitfulness. So mm -hmm. that's number one. Mm -hmm. Number two is that now, you know, I think man, humanity, even as we have we have continued to evolve, mm -hmm. we, we have disturbed God for a long time. 
Because now what happens next mm -hmm. is the door is open, mm -hmm. but you're on this side of the door, not going left or right, mm -hmm. creating a brilliant PowerPoint presentation. <laughs> brilliant. It can just face anyone. Mm -hmm. It has points, colors. It's moving in sequence mm -hmm. of the reason. You know that shocks me? You're on this side of the door, now writing mm -hmm. the possibilities, mm -hmm. the what ifs mm -hmm. that could go wrong on the other side. If you walk through this door, these are the things that can happen. Can you imagine? Mm -hmm. And God has opened the door. Mm -hmm. Now you're on this side, telling yourself what could 50 possible reasons mm -hmm. why I shouldn't walk through this door. Mm -hmm. So you've again worked yourself here into a frenzy. Mm -hmm. You've gone into a fear. Mm -hmm. There's no spirit of love, of power, or of a sound mind. Mm -hmm. Because now you're here, God has opened the door. Mm -hmm. And then now he's waiting for you to walk through it. Mm -hmm. And you have a PowerPoint presentation as to why. You cannot walk through that door. So I think we have to meditate upon that mm -hmm. in this season. Mm -hmm. That we're having, God is giving us an anointing for dominion, for taking territory, but there's what we have to do. Mm -hmm. You know, people like blaming God a lot. True. But there's your part. Mm -hmm. There's your part of the equation. God has empowered, he's releasing anointing. Mm -hmm. You know, you can't even force the anointing. You, know, you mm -hmm. have to receive the anointing. Mm -hmm. You have to decree, declare. He mm -hmm. says you decree and declare a thing and it shall be established. Mm -hmm. You have to be obedient. You have to be willing. Mm -hmm. You have to be meditating on the word. This does not come by magic. There is mm -hmm. no magic. Read the word of God mm -hmm. and therefore know what is written. And I think as we close, mm -hmm. that's why for Christ, I think it was very powerful mm -hmm. that every temptation he was given by the enemy, mm -hmm. he said it is written. He didn't even say where it was written. Mm -hmm. He didn't even say, he didn't say what it was, he just said, it, it is, is written. written. So that empowerment by the word of God mm -hmm. would I, I allow you to say it is written. Mm -hmm. Or even, I love that fact that God wants to work through us. Mm -hmm. Through us. Yes. He's working through us. This is not now you guys standing by standards and let God do the work. Now he needs you as a prepared vessel, as a prepared tool mm -hmm. to do the work. And Moses, I'm sure Joshua had naysayers and we'll continue this in part three. I pray that's where mm -hmm. I begin. Is Joshua had a very hard job mm -hmm. because people must have been comparing him mm -hmm. to Moses. Mm -hmm. And that's another thing about leadership shifts and leadership mantles and mm -hmm. taking dominion mm -hmm. and taking up positions which have been occupied by other people. Mm -hmm. Be ready for the comparison, but you've got to keep your head to the ground yes. and keep moving. Amen. 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 <laughs> Amen. Amen. Atonga, lead the people to Christ and I'll pray for them. Okay. Um, if you're here and you're listening to us and you're seeing us, we we just want you to lead you to Christ. Yeah. This is a decision that you don't need to think about. Don't say tomorrow. The Bible says you don't know what will happen tomorrow. tomorrow. So this is your time. And I just want you to repeat this after me and say, Lord Jesus, I humbly come before you. I confess that I'm a sinner yeah. and I need you in my life. I confess that you died on the cross for my sin and you said it is finished. Mm. I plead your blood over my life. I ask you to forgive me of all my sins. I ask you to purify me. I ask you to make me whole and I ask you to make me new. I'm now your son and now your daughter. Come live in me and come lead me. In Jesus name we pray. Amen. 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 Let's pray. Father, we thank you. We thank you that you're a God who loves us so much. You're continuously releasing anointing, which is an empowerment to us, Lord. And here you are, Father, Lord. The, the mantle had shifted and it now fell on Joshua and he had this great assignment, Lord. And we know that you have poured out to us a leadership anointing. And now, Father, there's an, an, an anointing to take dominion. Mm. But I love that you want to take that dominion through us, Lord. So I pray that we shall be obedient to your word, obedient to your voice, obedient to read the word of God, obedient to the even the empowerment, obedient to the mantles that are passing, Lord, and receiving them and embracing them and not refusing them or denying them in a way that sometimes we do that is sort of like a false humility, Father. Mm. Or even not, or, or believing that there's, an, there's that thing called the imposter syndrome. No, Father. Mm. You have anointed us, Father, to go and to to preach the good news, to bind up the brokenhearted, mm. to be oaks of righteousness, to mm. bring beauty for ashes, mm. to bind up people who are broken in different places, Lord, mm. to bring beauty for ashes, the oil of gladness mm. instead of a spirit of despair, to bring a thriving and a flourishing and an energy into places and spaces that you have ordained mm. and organized for us, Lord. Mm. So I want to pray, Lord, mm. that you cause us to walk in obedience, you cause us to walk in the word, and you cause us to be receptive to the idea that you're working through us for us and all around us. 
yes, and it God. is for generations, Lord. Yes, God. It mm. is for generations. You're a generational God. Mm. So I pray that we submit to you, submit to the process, and just align ourselves and understand that the power and ability comes from you. Mm. I also want to pray for the ability to walk through open doors. I pray mm. right now, everybody who's listening, Father, yes, that God. even right now, just bring to mind mm. what doors are you opening? And mm. they're sort of pushing back and saying, No, I don't think I'm ready for that door. Mm. What doors are you opening before them that they're not ready to step into? And I pray that in this season, in this first month of this year, but we know that we're on a, on a schedule of 5779, that we would walk through the open doors that God has placed before us. And it is his divine ability, his divine empowerment that is going to give us dominion. And you said that I will be with you like I was with Moses and nothing shall be able to withstand you all the days of your life. Mm. In Jesus' name we pray. Amen. 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 Thank you very Amen. much. Amen.